Welcome to Black Box, the new DLC map for Modern Warfare 3. This is a very sniper heavy map and get ready for a lot of close combat situations in the houses. Now this little shitstorm of a map offers a lot of great ways for everyone to play. Long range for assault rifles, LMGs, and sniper rifles, and close range for shotguns and SMGs. These buildings offer lots of great cover patterns as well as lines of sight, and the plane is such a hectic piece of mess that you're going to offer a lot of multi-kills in this area. Killstreaks are probably going to do a lot of dominant work here mainly because of all the open spaces, but beware of the closed spaces and campers. Hope you guys enjoy. Hey, how's it going? Broski's Blank Fog here from Team Priority Gaming, and this is the new DLC map, Black Box. Today I'll be breaking it down and showing you guys tip, tips and tricks on how to do better on it. Now, right here we see C Spawn, and immediately there's three great buildings C Spawn offers us. Now, this map suits to a lot of long range fights as well as close range, so this entire map will kind of suit any player. Now right here we see Construction. Construction is a two-story building that offers a lot of different lines of sight and also kind of a, a cool different route to the other side of the map. Now this is Windows 1 and Windows 2. Windows 1 is this big main building that's not really damaged too much. Now this offers a lot of great lines of sight as well as de decent amount of cover. And this is Windows 2 which offers a little less of both. So right here in the building there's uh, it's a lot, lot close quarters mainly because, well, it's a house. But as the scout sniper, it's very nice to be in this building because it offers a long, long range of sight to almost any part of the map. Now, as a scout sniper myself, I wouldn't recommend staying here for too long, mainly because people will realize where you are and come and kill you. However, this building offers a lot of different spots to be able to see other enemies from and actually catch them off guard. Now, here on C Flag, it's really great because this entire section here offers a lot of different ways to hold the flag down. But as a home flag, we won't really need much tactical influence to hold the home flag down. Let's move on to the next one. And over on the luscious A flag area, we have a lot of vegetation and lots of cover. However, there's not a lot of cover on the A flag itself. So if you're capturing the flag, keep a guard on and have your friends surround you and uh, around the surrounding area on the rocks, foliage, and other ledges. Now, this flag offers a very vital house to the map. Now this house I'm going to call Art House because it's very colorful and modern. Now, this house offers a lot of lines of sight and a lot of different elevation levels to help keep control of the flag. A flag is a really vital point if you're going to hold the A-B pattern, mainly because A and B are very close together. Art House has a lot of different elevation levels and a lot of windows, helping you keep control of the map. A motion sensor in this house, positioned correctly, can cover the entire house and make sure you cover all flank routes. Now, all the windows here also offer a lot of positions to get shot from. So if you are holding down this house, be sure to use cover wisely and not stay in one place too long. The wing of the plane connects Art House to the actual plane and uh, is very easy a flank route to actually obtain. Now inside it's very close as well as every other house in this map and be sure to watch out for anyone camping in the downstairs area. Keeping a claymore or just any kind of warning device on the house will definitely really help and uh, help you win the game, especially if you're holding down this vital piece of artwork. And now for B flag, the most vital point in this map. Now B flag is directly in between Air Force One. Now it's between Cargo B and First Class B. Now these are the callouts they use for this map mainly because the First Class B is very fancy and well first class. Cargo B is part of the cargo hold and there's also the last part of the plane which is the tail. Tail also has a lot of cargo in it but I'm just going to call it tail for now. So for B exactly, this Part of the map is very, very high traffic and very hard to actually hold down, mainly because B has not a lot of cover around it. It's pretty much in the dead center of everything, but there are lots of cover around it as well as A. So use the same tactics you use for A flag to capture, as well as having lots of friends around you, keeping hold on every line of sight. Now over here in first class, lots of entrances over to it, and they lead straight to upstairs. You can also go downstairs to capture the flag because there's no way of capturing it from upstairs. However, upstairs is not a lot of cover, just a lot of good sight lines. There's one table that kind of acts as, as cover, but not very well. So, a little line of sight over here, and it connects to A house, so you can easily see over there. And now over at B cargo, it's very enclosed space, so SMGs and shotguns will work very well here. However, if you are going in the open, I wouldn't recommend using any of these. Cargo B is actually great for sound whores, mainly because if you hear someone running on the metal, you can easily turn on them and get ready. And as well as I said earlier, the wing of the plane connects to Art House, which is a very great part of the map. 
Now, over here on tail, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a very popular spawn point or camping point. Be sure to watch for little douchebag assassin campers over here and uh, be ready to use flashbangs and grenades. This is a quick little route over to B though if you need to use it, just kind of have a lot of cover and have a pretty straight shot to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this map breakdown and as always please remember to like, comment and subscribe and also go check out our Twitter feed, constant uh, updates on new uploads and news and tips and stuff too. Also music provided by WoFox as always and uh, have a nice day guys, see you later.